Hello everyone, my name is Catherine. I work for Ganesh Diagnostic and Imaging Center as a radiographer. Today we will be discussing about HSG test. What is an HSG test? What is the full form of HSG test? So HSG is, uh, the full form for HSG is hysterosalpingography. So it is basically a very minimally invasive test where we see, uh, where we detect if there is any blockage in the fallopian tube. Uh, especially patient come for HSG tests when they undergo infertility or when they undergo uh, recurrent ab abortions or repeat miscarriages. Uh, these are some of the reasons why some female patients are advised to uh, go through HSG test. Now the main uh, reason to get uh, or the main um, reason for HSG test is to detect is to evaluate if there is any blockage on the fallopian tube. Now contraindications for or contraindications uh, simply meaning patients who cannot do HSG test are so the contraindications or simply the reasons uh, why uh, female or women cannot undergo HSG test may be as follows which are uh, if the patient is pregnant she cannot undergo she cannot do the HSG test if the patient has any active um, infection around the pelvis area pelvic area the patient cannot undergo HSG test also if the patient uh, is on in ongoing menstruation we cannot uh, do HSG for those kind of patients the patient preparation for HSG uh, can include uh, such as uh, the following steps first of all the patient has to um, share all the medication history medical history to the radiographer or the gynecologist or the radiologist whoever is going to take up the HSG procedure uh, if there is any allergy to any kind of medication, the patient has to inform to the healthcare provider or the healthcare professional. Now for HSG, we also give out the consent form. So the consent form is uh, nothing but uh, permission that uh, stating about the terms and condition of the contrast uh, study or contrast investigation that it will be held, that will be done for the patient so the patient can sign the consent form or any uh, person who is uh, a relative of the patient can sign the consent form also this consent form is required in every contrast uh, media investigations uh, stating the terms and conditions uh, to be permitted also uh, the patient's LMP date will be asked LMP date which means uh, the last menstrual period date because uh, it is just to clarify or it is just to verify that the patient is not pregnant so we ask the LMP date to the patient for every um, radiographic uh, investigation here in Ganesh Diagnostic a female gynecologist and a female technician will uh, perform the procedure uh, before uh, administration of the contrast media or the medicine uh, the patient or patient's position will be checked which means uh, a scout film or a practice film will be taken just to ensure the position of the patient. So now we will discuss about the procedure of HSG. The duration for HSG can vary from 15 minutes or 10 minutes to maximum 45 minutes or one hour. Uh, the patient will be positioned with her uh, with her knees bent and with uh, and the feet supported on the table in the, uh, at the same time uh, the radiologist will insert the speculum which is uh, which will look something like this this speculum will be inserted inside uh, inside the vagina and the cervix will be cleaned with all this uh, bedatin or with uh, and with uh, the cotton so after inserting the speculum uh, this Thing will be removed and a catheter or maybe a cannula since now we don't have the catheter to show you so I will I'll just, we'll just take an example of this catheter and this kind of catheter will be inserted inside the cervix insert, uh, and the contrast media which will, will look something like this this is the medicine that we will inject inject or administer inside the vagina or inside the catheter or the um, cannula so during the administration of uh, contrast media, 
at the same time the images will also be taken the x-ray pictures will be taken of the pelvic region to see if there is any blockage if the contrast is uh, administrating through the fallopian tube or not if the uh, contrast media is going through the uh, cervix or not all these things or for all these uh, x-rays will be taken at the same time so that's how uh, we use HSG to see the fallopian tube blockage or if there is any kind of uh, malformation in the ut uterus uh, that is leading to infertility but uh, before that before I uh, conclude this session or conclude this video I want to uh, go through some common question that people may have uh, some questions that I've three questions I've picked out which are uh, can you eat or drink uh, before HSG exam and the answer is yes you can drink you can eat normally as usual as per usual before the HSG exam and now is uh, is it a painful examination or is it a painful investigation um, there is some kind of discomfort in the uh, procedure so yes there is a little bit of discomfort in the procedure but if the patient is unable to bear if you are unable to bear the pain uh, the examination will be immediately terminated and you might be given some kind of anesthesia to numb the pain so the third question is uh, can uh, hsg uh, exam open uh, the blockage of the fallopian tube so the answer is the blockage uh, originally this uh, hsg examination or investigation was originally uh, introduced for diagnostic purposes to see if there is any kind of uh, pathologies if there is any kind of um, blockage in the fallopian tube but uh, there is a there is a uh, proof there are studies showing that yes it can be also a potential therapeutic or treatment uh, procedure because when we flush uh, when we administer the contrast media the if there is any kind of mucus or any kind of debris in the fallopian tube it gets removed it gets uh, flushed out from the contrast media and thereby uh, providing a, the providing a better passageway for the fallopian tube so this is how uh, HSG is done in Ganesh Diagnostic and Imaging Center. Thank you.